Hi, and welcome to this session where I'm going to show you how to use your basic toolkit and how to prepare the space for housing your collection. So first of all, I'm going to talk to you about how to cut properly. So not everyone is used to use a scalpel every day. So I'm just gonna, going to show you uh, and talk to you through a few tips in order to make uh, the cutting very safely and cut nicely. So first of all, when you cut, you want to stand up. You want to be on your feet in order to put your body weight on the ruler and not on the scalpel. So here I have my scalpel. And if I cut on my paper, I'm going to put my body weight here on the ruler. And I'm not going to press a lot on my blade. I prefer to do several goes with the scalpel like this until it's completely cut and not put too much pressure. And you can see I'm keeping my weight on the ruler until I cut across the whole line. For the blade you're using, you want a straight blade in order to cut straight. When you're cutting, you want to cut towards you. You want to cut from here to your body. If you cut in another direction, you're going to have less control and you're not going to be able to put the pressure where you want the pressure. So now that we know how we cut safely and nicely, um, we'll have to change the blade of our scalpel at some point. So here my blade is blunt and I want to remove it safely. So what I can do is that I can use a plier and just put it out of the slot here and push it here and just remove it safely like that. You can use your hands as well, but be very careful never to hold the blade like this. If you want to hold the blade with your hand, hold it like this. <clears throat> so now I want to put a new blade. This package, so the blades comes in this type of package. It's a blade 10A. I just open it like this. There's five blades in a pack. Open it safely and then just take it by the bottom here and I'll use my pliers to put it in. So again, I just go down and you hear a click and it's settled. It's not going to move anymore. So here is how you remove a blade. How are you going to dispose your blunt blades? You're going to find readily uh, available sharp bins online, or you can actually make your own, like we've done here with a coffee tin, where we just put, did a slit on the top and where we can dispose of blunt blades. If you fill a tin like this one, which is unlikely to happen, but if you do, you can just go to your chemist and he's going to take care of it, or you can uh, call a recycling company who's going to take care of all your metallic waste. When you're using a pencil, uh, it's a good idea to use a mechanic pencil like this one because it doesn't have to be sharpened. Uh, if you use a wooden pencil, make sure it's always sharp by using a sharpener. We talked about using permanent markers for labeling. So we do use permanent markers, but you have to be very careful how you use them. First of all, when you use a permanent marker, make sure you always put the lid on your marker. Never leave the marker free like this, especially next to an object from your collection. An accident is really quickly, can really quickly happen, and you're gonna stain your object for life because it's a stain that is uh, almost impossible to remove, even for a trained conservator. You have different types of tips, so try to always cho choose a fine tip like this one and avoid broad tip like this one that are more difficult uh, to use because your marks won't be as precise than with the, the fine one. Uh, 
Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to prepare your space before creating housing for your collection. An important thing to have is an apron or overalls like I have today. Uh, and this is important to avoid any stain on your outfit, especially if you're going to use white glue. If you have nail polish on your nails, do use a nail uh, polish remover because nail polish can stain your housing material and your object and that stain will be very difficult to remove. So it's very important to have nothing on your nails when you're working. It's also important to have your hands cleaned with, uh, so clean your hands with uh, hot water and soap. And this is important because you have a lot of fat and grease and mineral on your hands that you don't see, but are going to stain or stay on the surface of the paper. And that can actually age differently. And they're going to show later on, even if you don't see it today. Uh, so very important to have your hands super clean. If you have jewelry, like I have here, I have a watch, so I'm just gonna remove it to make sure that it doesn't catch on anything. So remove all the pending jewelry and your rings and your watches. If you have long hair, make sure that they're not in the way. So for practical reason, try to tie them back. And finally, just lay down all the papers you have on your table and try to create a big, large piece and wipe it um, just with a wipe. Don't use any soap and then you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this session and now we're ready to create some boxes. So join us for our next sessions.